Thank you. Before I open it up to Q&A from the audience, I have one question I'd like to ask the students, especially learning that none of them majored in banking. How has participating in the community bank case study competition impacted your views on banks and the financial services sector more generally? Can I just go down the line? Yep. Uh, so for me, I guess, I don't know how helpful this is going to be to everyone here, but for me, it just put banking on, on the radar for me. Like I said, I'm working in, in AML, BSA work now, which I would have never considered before this. Uh, so I, I guess maybe the takeaway for you would be to really uh, try to get a presence on college campuses and uh, let them know that, that banking is, is not just, you know, sitting in, a, in the corner of a room staring at a screen all day. There's a little bit more to it than that, and, and it can be exciting at times, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I think this competition um, kind of opened the eyes to community banks. Sometimes I think many people, they're an afterthought, but going through the process, interviewing executives, I think there's a lot to it and a big impact on the community, and I, I think it's something that it, they do have a big role in their market and their region, and it's something that um, they really need to, to stabilize some of these areas. For me, I've heard, I grew up hearing that um, you know, middle America and middle class people are the backbone of the economy. And while I think that's true, this really breathed life into the idea that community banks and businesses that have a strong presence in local communities can really make a difference in the lives of citizens and the lives of their, you know, the people in their area. Um, and I don't think that would have uh, quite had the same life to me without this experience. Um, <clears throat> being from like a media production background, coming into your guys' world of banking, uh, it's definitely uh, humanized it for me. Uh, speaking to you know the great people over at People's Bank, um, made me realize that you know it's not just looking at a screen; it's you know talking to real people who make really good decisions based off of you know their communities and the economy, and uh, you know finding ways to give back to the community as well is something that I never would have thought a bank would have done from my, from my perspective, from my world. But yeah, from this competition, it's definitely taught me a lot. Okay, I'd like to open it up for questions from the audience. We have a few minutes for that. You could ask the <coughs> students, faculty advisor, Dr. B, or Mr. Solariski. Mm -hmm. Mike Stevens. So, uh, Chuck, appreciate you opening up your bank. <coughs> participate in this process. I wonder if you could talk some about the impact that uh, participating in this has had on your institution. Well, I think that anytime you can get curious people asking questions and making you think about things in ways that you haven't thought about it before, um, it's a win. Um, we have an interest, um, they mentioned winning a local case competition that we run. Uh, we um, have 16 schools that we work with and we're trying to buy talent. You know, we, we, you know, our, our interest in the case study, the one that we run in this one is to get one of these folks to work with us. And you know, I've been unsuccessful with four sales, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, but I'm not done. You know? <laughs> so we'll see. But I mean, if you get introduction to smart people, and uh, we've been very, very successful at bringing people from. Uh, Cleveland, Columbus, Cincinnati, places that you might think are more typical where people, w young people would like to work into t a town like Marietta, Ohio, and it's helped our company grow. Other questions? Yes, Jan. Good afternoon, Jan Owen from California. So you guys didn't know anything or want to be any bankers. What about bank regulators? <laughs> number one and number two, can I see resumes? To <laughs> but the first question is serious. I mean, what did, what did you learn from being in an institution and learning about it and about bank regulators and, what, and our mission and what we do? So I, I guess uh, after, after the competition, we were able to, to meet with Kevin Allard, who is the superintendent uh, of the a portion of the DOC, I don't remember uh, which exact portion in Ohio. Uh, and so he was able to really share a lot with us that we said, wow, we wish we would have known this beforehand. Uh, and uh, I, I can tell you that after I graduated, I applied to be a, a state examiner. Um, 
it, again, just was something that came on my radar that wasn't before. Um, you didn't in California, honey. <laughs> 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 and, uh, <laughs> Note taken. Catch Note on. taken. <laughs> something to do later tonight. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think... I think it was great because uh, these two are finance, then I'm economics. So we got a video production assistant here, um, and then Dr. B. So, with obviously a wealth of knowledge. So I think it was a lot to kind of for me to expand into their backgrounds, them expand into my background, and and him interact with us too. And then also, these areas were new for each other um, to try to work together as a group. But then also, succession planning was completely new to us and something that. We all kind of, as one, had to develop all these resources and kind of start from a ground level and try to build up um, to be able to talk about it for a 10-minute video or um, write a 25-page paper and go in-depth about it. So, so yeah, I think just building a ground-level um, knowledge from the start of the competition when we started in February to when we found out in May. Yeah, I think to that point, um for a lot of us, this was a very rigorous process. For all of us, it was a very rigorous process. And I think coming into this, we, we sort of had this idea, well, this is a case study, we're gonna write a paper, we're gonna produce a video, and that was about as much thought as we gave. Um, then as we continued into the process, and Dr. B really pushed us to, to be the best version of ourselves in all of this, um, it really challenged us to grow as individuals, to grow as professionals, uh, and to really improve uh, on what we were learning. And obviously not coming from a banking background, um, it was a little more strenuous than we had expected. So. Um, I guess from my perspective, uh, learning uh, and doing this bank study with these fine people, uh, it's definitely opened my view for uh, my portion of you know, my studies and how I can think of uh, media production in more of a business sense and how I can relate my business towards um, you know, how we started conducting the case study. And, uh, just being able to do like succession planning, things like that uh, that I would have never thought of, put some thought into beforehand. Um, it's really definitely helped with uh, my business as well. I have 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just stop there with the questions so I can maintain our time schedule and let you know the students will be at the reception tonight they'll be there and look forward to all of your questions for one-on-one -on -one time you can ask them in groups they'll be there tonight i think they'll be here tomorrow as well so you can do that with them i did want to mention the 2018 community bank case study competition is already underway this year students will study how community banks are engaging with financial technology more specifically how institutions are utilizing technology to meet customers needs and streamline internal processes so statements of interest are due for academic advisors by november 20th full student teams and partners need to be announced by february 5th and we look forward to another successful year of this. So if you're interested in more information, you can go to CSBS's website, csbs.org slash um, bank case study. And let's hear it again for the University of Akron.